Hello and welcome to WP Forms. In this video, we're going to learn how to create a multi page form for your WordPress site by using the WP Forms plugin. If your form is running a little bit on the longer side, splitting it into multiple pages can not only help increase engagement, but also improve your conversion rate too. More importantly, it makes for a much better user experience since a multi page form can help make long forms seem less overwhelming for your customers. After logging into your WordPress site, We'll first go to the plugins page and install WP Forms to your site. If you haven't done so already, you can download the plugin from the Downloads tab in your WP Forms account area. If you don't have a WP Forms account, you can go to wpforms.com forward slash YouTube to get 50% off your purchase. We can head back to our WordPress site, and on the plugins page, we'll click on the Add New button on the top left corner, and then click on the Upload Plugin button. We'll then choose our file. Select WP Forms and activate it once it's done installing. Afterwards, we'll need to verify your copy of WP Forms by entering the license key in the settings page. You can find the key on the downloads page of your WP Forms account, and once the license key has been verified, we can get started. Click on the Add New option to create a new form. We'll give our form a name, and as an example, we'll create a job application form by using one of our pre designed templates. As you can see, the job application template comes with quite a few different fields, which makes it feel pretty long already. You can make any changes you'd like to the form, either adding any additional fields by clicking and dragging them from the left over to the right, or deleting excess fields by hovering over it and clicking on the red trash can icon. Once you've made your changes, let's go ahead and split up our form into three parts. To do this, we'll go over to the left and find the page break field which is found under the Fancy field section. From there, click on it, drag it over to the right, and place it wherever you'd like the form to split into another page. You can add as many page breaks as you'd like, but we'll go ahead and just use two for now to create a three-page form. If your form is on the longer side, you can opt to show a progress indicator so your users know where they are in the form and how much more they have left. To do this, scroll all the way to the top of your form and find the field labeled First Page Slash Progress Indicator. When you click on it, you'll see some additional settings. WP Forms comes with three different breadcrumb style indicators for your form. A connector, which shows a connecting bar and the page title of each part of your multi-step form. Circles, which show one circle and page title per page on your form. And a progress bar, which indicates the progress of the form as the user fills it out. If you don't have the need or want for a progress indicator, you can simply select the None option to turn it off. You can also customize the color of the progress indicator and add a title for this specific page. To add titles to each of the pages, you can go through the form and click on the Page Break field and add the title there. If you have three or more pages, you also have the option of turning on and displaying a previous button, which will allow users to go back to the previous page in your form. Now that our form is done, let's head over to the Settings tab on the left and set up our notification settings. The admin email in this field is the admin email address for your WordPress website, so if you'd like the notification to go to a different email address, you can make that change in this field here. Make any necessary changes to your notification settings, and afterwards, let's configure our confirmation settings. You can choose between three different options that the user will see after they've submitted the form Message, Show Page, or Go to URL. We'll stay with the default message option for now. Once you've made your changes, click on the Save button on the top right corner, and we're ready to embed our new multi page job application form to our site. Go to your dashboard and click on Pages, Add New, and let's add a title. From there, click on the plus icon below the title and either scroll down to Widgets to find WP Forms, or you can type WP Forms in the search bar above. We'll then click on our job application form, hit Publish, and we're all set. But let's preview our multi-page form first by clicking on the link to the page and testing it out. As you can see, the form has been broken up into three different sections, and our progress indicator is here, showing us where we are and how much we have left to go. 
before you go live, be sure to test your form thoroughly to make sure that everything from submitting the form to receiving the email notifications is working properly. If you have any questions or concerns, please be sure to visit WPForms.com and check out our documentation page, which has step-by-step -step written instructions for all of our features and add-ons. If you need any extra technical help, please go to our contact page and reach out to our support team. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed and found this video helpful, subscribe to our YouTube channel, where you can learn more about building smarter forms with WP Forms through our how-to videos and more.